YouTube, your girl is back. Back home. So. Aww. Birthday trip was amazing. First of all. Um, I did mean to edit and be posting some like while I was on vacation, but like who really wants to be doing that when you're supposed to be doing the <laughs> time that you have while you're there. <laughs> so those videos will be coming out this week, you guys. You may get two and so at a time. Um just be prepared because it is also TK's birthday week as well. So you're gonna be getting vlogs and updates on that as well because this week is supposed to be dedicated to him as well and i'm fully aware that it's going to be running over into next week but for sure the day of his birthday he will be getting pretty much a gift reveal and a birthday shout out reveal on youtube now whether or not i have like all of his DIYs, if I do anything, I still haven't decided whether or not I'm doing any. I do know that I do have to make shirts. Um, and then his party is at main event. I don't necessarily think that I have to do much. Um, we do have help as far as kind of with the kids. They give us like helpers and everything as far as the staff to guide us and, um, like show the kids like each location that they have included in their package and kind of direct them when their time is up with each of the activities that are included. So for TK, he wanted laser tag, he wanted game sessions, and I forget what the last one was, but I think he has like a pick three, if I'm not mistaken, y'all. And I am just getting him like a little bit of brunch started because it's going to be a little while before we actually start dinner. Um, since we are, since I am freshly back, I'm not doing anything like too big. He wanted some steak bites. So those don't take that long. And then of course he gets fruit paired with them. But I'm just putting him on like some bacon and some French toast. And he always eats those with some fruit. And that's pretty much it for that y'all. Um, and then for me, I'm going to be making some ravioli. So you guys are just going to be getting pretty much updates and then um, like a ravioli cooking video and his little steak cooking video all in one today. I'm going to try to have this posted same day because I was supposed to have a cooking video posted last week. You guys did not get it last Sunday, even though you were supposed to, but I was on vacation, so... I should have had it edited before I left, you guys, and then time to actually post itself on Sunday at noon, like I usually do all my videos. But I just figured I'm just going to wind up doing this one and then post it kind of a little bit late um, today so that I can kind of give you guys like some video content. But. Still see mommy. That's kind of where we are, you guys. So you'll get our Barbados vlogs. Like I said, you may get two tomorrow and two Tuesday. And I might just kind of wrap it up on Wednesday. Just so everything finishes in time for his birthday. Now, he does have like a classroom, like lunch party on Wednesday. Um... But he is doing like a home birthday party thing on on his actual birthday. So we'll be giving him his gifts and stuff Thursday. It's actually his last day of school as well. So it'll be a short day for him. He gets out at noon. I have that whole day off because it was actually supposed to be his in-school eating day. But it turned out to be Wednesday because that's the full day. Nobody let us know that Thursday was going to be a half day. Nobody. Until last week. And I'm like, what the heck? I wasn't even here. They told Vern. But it is what it is. So it's going to be Wednesday. And then Thursday, he's going to have a half day. So we're going to celebrate his birthday then. And then if he wants to go somewhere, we can go somewhere. Because like I said, I don't have to work. 
here it doesn't have to work um but we're gonna go ahead and get this started you guys um i'm gonna get everything together and i will be right back all right y'all so for our ravioli um we're gonna actually add some spinach to it we're gonna add some fire roasted diced tomatoes with green chilies okay so you guys know I'm going to be cooking this in a crock pot. The sauces we're going to be using is some garlic alfredo. We're going to mix it with some vodka sauce. Freaking delish. Delish. I have done this before and it turned out perfection. Um, we are going to be using the Reina brand of Maine lobster ravioli. And then we also have some frozen cheese ravioli as well. We're just going to be mixing these two together. These bags are like really, really small. I don't know why they just tend to make this particular taste. This particular, this particular one, this particular lobster one. Bruh. <laughs> this particular one, y'all. Comes in this small bag. Now, see, if you wanted to get like the spinach and ricotta of this brand, it comes in a big family brand, family bag. But for some reason, they only give out the main lobster in the small bag. So I have to buy two of them. And they're literally this small, y'all. This small. So, of course, since it's just me, I just need it to last for like three to four days or so. I'm going to use both bags of this. And then I have a family bag of just regular frozen cheese ravioli. I'm only going to use like half of this bag to make it kind of equal out with this for like a full serving for just me. Anything left over, I usually give to like TKZ or whatever. Um, and then we're going to be mixing in spinach. And we're just going to be serving this, you guys, with a Caesar salad all types of simple that's it that's it but besides that you guys we are just going to be mixing all of this into the crock pot we do have a few seasonings a few not much because this kind of just cooks in its own kind of flavorings and it kind of just sizzles together um but it doesn't really require much it doesn't really require much and the flavor comes out to be like i said perfection um Bruh. Anyways, y'all, the flavor comes out to be perfection. So, like, once everything is fully cooked, like, it's delicious, y'all. It's delicious. But you will need, like, a little bit of pepper. Of course, minced garlic. I do use Italian seasoning and some um, basil. Is that basil? What? No, oregano. Sorry. Italian seasoning and oregano. You probably could use basil, but I don't. <laughs> so this is, these are the only real seasonings I'm going to use, you guys. Good job, baby. He ate all this food, y'all. Um, these are the only seasonings that I'm really going to be using, you guys, because like I said, the flavors kind of cook themselves in with the sauce and you know the tomatoes and the garlic but i do have me a new stand it's kind of actually a flexible stand i bought from amazon and i will try to include a picture you guys but for the most part it's like it's really doing its thing a little tripod stand um so i'm gonna try to see if it will stand up and look down into like my crock pot oh okay we're adjusting we're adjusting oh that's dope y'all that's dope okay so i'm gonna pull this out a little bit oh that's perfect that's so perfect y'all good job baby all right y'all so let me grab me a knife so y'all can y'all can see everything like great this is awesome all right we put our ravioli in there that's the first bag of lobster second bag of lobster you guys oh yeah i know how to make that and then we're 
going to add our first half of vodka sauce. Really big guy. How you do it? Just pour it in big. Right back? Yeah, all of it. Then throw it away. Not all of it. Yeah, all of it. All the ravioli. Over all the ravioli, kitty. Good job, baby. That's all. So add some minced garlic. I think that's the rest of my jar, y'all. And then we're going to put our small thing of tomatoes and chilies. Right all right, kitty, kitty. Tomatoes too. Good job, baby. Is that all? That's all. And then we're going to take our spinach. I want to do Pour it in, cute. Oh, all of it. We are going to take only half of our cheese ravioli, not oh, yeah. the full bag, just some of it. So not all of it, cutie cutie, but some of it. Okay. Not all of it. You have to take it off from the hand. Yeah, just some of it. Get all of it? All of it. Good job, cutie. So we put some oregano in there. All of it? No, just a little bit. Spread some more, spread it around. Good job, cutie, cutie, other side. And then we're gonna do some Italian seasoning. Who knows? All of them? No, not all of it. Some just, of them. There you go, other side, perfect. That, was, that came a lot. More of our vodka sauce. We're gonna add more of the vodka sauce. <laughs> oh my god, not the whole jar though. This time, just half of it. All right, you gotta, you gotta dig down, cutie cutie. You gotta get all of it stirred in together. Oh. This is what our ravioli is looking like with the sauce and everything. Um, so it is pretty much finished, y'all. Um, everything is cooked thoroughly. It has that extra kick with the vodka sauce and then with those uh, tomatoes with the chilies in them. It's like, oh my gosh, y'all. Like it's really good it's really really good i wasn't expecting it to be like that super spicy but it is like extra spicy um so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this crock pot off because like i said they are done i'm gonna start tk's steak because he's having steak today i am loving this little gadget that i have you guys for recording i'm just gonna show you guys real quick let me take it out real quick. So like it bend, the legs bend and everything. So like that's how I was able to like bend it down to show you guys. This is what it looks like. So I can literally like, be, literally like bend these legs. And I had it over like the top of my juicer, you guys. Like I had it folded over the top of my juicer, like bending down over, getting a view over the crock pot. And it was staying. It was literally staying like this back leg was over the background part of the juicer and it was staying y'all it was staying but anyways y'all i'm gonna go ahead and start mixing up his steak um like i said this is gonna be like a really really short video i'll be back to show you guys like the final product of kind of my meal put together i am going to show you guys me mixing and kind of prepping his food as well but I'm just gonna go ahead and get the, all the seasonings and stuff together um, before I come back on here. And then after that, it'll just kind of be like a final um, view of like both plates. So you guys can kind of see like how we're eating it and kind of go from there. But yeah, just stay tuned you guys because it's gonna be like a lot of videos rolling out between this week and next week. Um, 
Like I have a lot of footage that I need to get out of off of this phone and then cleared out. Um, and then also like I can only imagine like what these smell like. Like I got some face masks, y'all. This one is like a I think it's pronounced um acerola. Acerola? <laughs> it promotes Bruh. um plump and firm skin so for like collagen and then um it's like a fusion sheet mask and then the other one is um rose oil and it's susan Re regulates oil production um 24 karat gold intensely brightens and stimulates skin cells so i have like two of these i feel like i'm going to use like them on both days because it wouldn't make sense to use them on the same day right y'all but i'm like really excited to kind of try these like yeah my best friend gave me these the same one that i went on a trip with y'all so i'm like really excited to try these and i can only imagine like how good they can smell um, especially with the ingredients that I'm just reading that they have in them. But um, I'm going to get together, together the ingredients for his steak, you guys. And I will be back to mix all of this stuff in. And we can kind of go from there. So, be right back. Alright, y'all. So, I can expect to have this video posted probably around 8 or 9 o'clock. But um, for ingredients on his steak, we're going to be using some Slap Your Mama. And we don't have a lot left of this. Just a little bit. Some garlic powder. I don't know if you guys hear that. Garlic powder. Oh, and by the way, it has um, virgin olive oil in it already. Um, some pepper. Not much pepper. Just a little bit. Some onion powder. And we got these um, from Sam. So they're like pretty chunky pieces of like steak meat tenderizer. And then we're also going to be using our Weber Steak and Chop. Just roll it up a little bit. And also some Chicago Steak. We're going to keep it nice and just like regular season you guys nothing too extra he usually likes his honey garlic but i kind of reserve that for chicken and kind of mix it up when i'm putting like some other other meats now we'll occasionally do it on steak and pork chops it just depends on how long it's been since i've done like either of the other options are i did clean the meat and then i also set it aside to dry and not necessarily dry either set it aside to I'm going to keep staying on a paper towel so it is not full of water when I drop it into the seasoning. Alright y'all, so we got these all nice and coated. They're all nice and coated and really seasoned. Perfect. Alright y'all, here is TK's plate. We got a combination of strawberries and grapes right there, some cheese, 
some oranges these oranges were huge they're called california oranges it's a big five pound bag that you can get at like sam's club so yeah big five pound bag um it says steak some doritos because he is a kid kids love chips <laughs> Um, this is the remaining of his steak, y'all. Big old pack of steak that we got from Sam, Sam's Club that was chopped up. And um, he's just probably going to be eating on, on that for the next two days. Because I don't think it's going to last more than the next two days. With his appetite, um, he's probably going to eat this and be full. He may or may not get more. I don't know, y'all. He may get more. He may, may not. I don't know <laughs> we'll see but this may just fill him up y'all because these are some pretty hefty pieces i don't know but with his appetite you never you never know he may come back for seconds it's hard to tell with him some days <laughs> but this is what his plate is looking like i'm going to come back and show you guys mine and a few <laughs> i'll be right back all right y'all this was the end result i tried to get this a look <laughs> as appetizing as possible you guys know like with caesar salad i had to mix the dressing in and i had to remember that like after i'd already put the salad on the plates um as far as for my ravioli like it has a mixture of my spinach my tomatoes and i did drizzle like a little bit of extra of the vodka sauce on on top because you do know when the crock cooking in a crock pot it does have a tendency to kind of cook out um, some of the moisture um, so if you feel the need to add in a little bit more sauce feel free you guys just to keep it um, that saucy contingency um, so that it doesn't like fully dry out and become like dried out pasta because you do want it to be cooked but you don't want it to be um, to the point where like it's flavorful but kind of like a drought <laughs> if you guys know what i mean but um i always go back in anyway and add um extra pasta sauce like after it's finished cooking anyway um just so the just so that it doesn't end up that way but this is the end result you guys so i'm going to go ahead and get to eat and i hope you guys enjoyed this video welcome back you guys the videos will start back rolling in her normal i'm so sorry for the delay you guys but like i said your girl was vacationing in for her birthday having a ball but i will get back on it you guys this video will be uploaded probably late tonight but you will get it today on sunday um thanks so much for watching the channel you guys so happy to be back i've missed you guys and until next sunday <laughs> stay tuned for all the updates this week you guys and next week until next time y'all see y'all